friends, CloudBard here. Time for another one minute identity and access management lesson. Previously, you probably heard me talking about using conditions in our policy statements to control when a specific action should be allowed or denied. Today, we're focusing on a very specific scenario that involves using the secure token service and the assume role command, which is the API call that starts off the process of assuming a role and getting the temporary credentials that we need to use that role. As a part of the assume role command, we can also require that an external ID is provided. Now, this is particularly useful if you have someone who's maybe managing your AWS account for you, and you want to provide this additional piece of context around who made that call uh, and what the purpose is for it. Imagine someone's managing your account and they have some sort of account number or an identifier for you as their customer, and you want to have them provide that additional detail here. By using a condition, we can make them provide the external ID in order to use the assume role command. Now, in order to get a good feel for this, let's head over to the dashboard and see how it works. Moving on over, uh, I'm starting off right here on the command line. And if I use the command AWS STS get caller identity, you can see that I am currently logged in uh, or set up configured in the command line to use my assume role demo user. And indeed, back over here in the management console, if we take a look at that user, you can see they don't have a whole lot of permissions. They only have the assume role policy that I've given them down here. And that really just gives them the ability to go and assume another role. So for demonstration purposes, imagine that I wanted to look at the buckets in this account. Running the S3 list bucket command is gonna give me a nice nasty error. But if we assume a role that has the right privileges, then we should be able to get past this. So as a part of this, I also have a demo role set up that does have the S3 full access permissions attached to it. So this will grant me the right level of permissions. Now the real magic comes in over here on the trust relationship. This is where we designate who's allowed to assume the role. And if you take a look at the actual policy that's used in the background, you can see our condition at work. So starting out, we're going to allow this specific user to run the STS assume role command against this role, but only if they provide this valid external ID. And here I have CloudBart plugged in as my external ID. Again, in your scenario, you'd probably wanna have them use whatever identifier uh, your provider might be using out there. It's entirely up to you to decide what it should look like. Beyond that then, if we head back over to the command line, oops, sorry, before we do that, we wanna go back out and grab the ARN value for the role and head on over to the command line here and we will go ahead and assume that role. So AWS STS assume role, and then we're gonna to have to provide in the ARN value for the role itself. So let's go ahead and paste that on in. We also need to provide a session identifier just to kind of identify this specific session. So I will call that demo. And then if we run that command here, you're gonna see that I will get a failure on that. This is because I didn't provide the external ID. So let's go ahead and try that one more time. This time we will try external ID and I will provide in CloudBart and we should be able to successfully get that temporary set of credentials back. Now, in order to make use of these credentials, we need, need to go ahead and make them available. So I'm gonna go ahead and export those. First, I'll grab the access key ID here. Notice that I'm using that environment export for the variables, great. And then I'm gonna grab the secret access key Cool, and I gotta grab that string and take a close look at how I'm grabbing each one of those sections. Okay, and then the last piece here is to grab that big session token. Very important that we get that included as well. Everything inside of the quotes, great. And paste that on in, looks pretty good. So if we clear this out and we try the get caller identity command again, we should see that we have a different identity. And indeed, there we are, look at it this time, assume role demo role. And here is the demo role that I've assumed. They give the little session ID on the end there as well. So we're looking good. And if we try our S3 command, we should be able to take a look at the buckets. Fantastic. So keep in mind, friends, that you can use this external ID condition as a part of the assume role process in that trust policy that allows people to assume the role, providing an additional layer of complexity and validation. Hopefully this helps you out. We'll see you in the cloud. <laughs>